Hi there. So till now we have discussed the cases when uh, when we dealt with a concave mirror, a concave mirror, in, uh, in other words, a converging mirror. It converges the rays of light if you throw at it. So now let us uh, deal with another class of mirrors called convex mirrors, and you know already know what convex mirrors are. Now a convex mirror. Let us uh, quickly revise. It has a reflecting surface which is outwards. Okay, and in general it diverges the if you throw rays of light at it it will diverge them now it turns out that there aren't really many cases of image formation you know if we consider the convex mirror why we'll see so the first case is if the object is very far away so we consider that to be infinity and what will happen if the object is at infinity we know one thing right that if an object is at infinity all the rays which are originating from the object will be parallel to the principal axis okay so if let's consider two rays this one okay and let us say this one now how will these rays bend uh well, we know one thing that if these are parallel they will reflect and pa pass through the focus but they can't really pass through the focus right because this is uh, this is an opaque object mirror is an opaque object so how will it reflect we have discussed it in a previous video it will go something like this in the line of this focus somewhat like this okay and if you consider this one this thing will happen the rays parallel rays come they will diverge and if you see it from the point which is far away at infinity if you see it from infinity then what will what will it look well what our brain does is that if it's these the diverging rays of light it thinks that okay if there is a diver the are diverging they must appear they must con, uh, come from a point and so which point it's easy to figure out we just draw these rays backwards we that's how you draw, uh, extend the rays backwards and they will meet at the focus so what will be the properties of image in this case let's find out so first question is it real or is it virtual and clearly the rays aren't meeting the rays are diverging continuously forever it up though it they appear to meet okay they're not actually meeting therefore the image images of virtual image okay and what is the size of this image that's a very interesting part the size clearly is very very small it's somewhere uh, around so this is spherical disk so something like this and in general we call this uh, a point so it is a point sized image okay which point sized and is it erect or inverted if we are, well we can't really figure out because the image is itself very very, very small but it turns out that the image is erect in nature if you really zoom into this then you will see that the image is erect so oh, you can find it is oops erect in nature okay and again a point size image so um this this is erect and if you again size of the image it's point sized and we call such a point sized image a highly diminished image okay so the image is highly diminished in nature where is it formed next property where is it from formed clearly the rays are appearing to meet uh, at the focus so it forms at the focus behind the mirror there is no focus ahead of the mirror clearly the focus 
behind behind the mirror so at f the important thing is behind the mirror so uh, in many cases you can take the definition of a virtual image to be the image which forms behind the mirror now what if we bring our object from infinity to a point somewhere closer to the mirror what will happen the c so now what will happen if the object is closer to the mirror so between infinity and pole now clearly you don't see any special points between infinity and pole and they are it turns out they are they are in very special cases the all the cases are almost the same we'll see so let us consider an, ob an object somewhere over there okay it's pretty general okay no preferred location it's on the principal axis that's the only condition how will the image be formed uh, which rays can we take we you know we take two very two interesting rays first ray we can take is the parallel one uh, the ray which is parallel to the principal axis so it will go there okay this direction and how will it reflect again it will reflect as if it is coming from the focus so okay somewhere something like this now which uh, which ray can we take choose as a second ray now if you are really you know smart then make a smart choice okay what if we consider the point uh, array which goes from a the center of curvature of the mirror okay from a to c of course you, uh, it won't pass through the mirror and go to the uh, center of curvature directly but what will happen so if a ray is right something like this okay so if you extend this ray it will pass through the uh, center of curvature of this mirror good enough now what will happen to this ray well, as we have discussed in a, a few videos back this uh, this point is uh, if it draw tangent this point will be the will be perpendicular to the normal therefore the angle of incidence will become zero and this ray will retrace itself it will go something like this and then come back then it will go you can go for something like this we, we don't really need to worry about that now if an uh, observer is somewhere over there okay now by there i mean uh, if he sees both of these rays uh, how will he see well if two rays are diverging they must appear uh, they must come from one point and which point will it be okay of course this one and that's how our image will form that will be our a dash so to say the corresponding a and correspondingly b will fall on the principal axis let us call this point b dash and if you notice this is uh, this is uh, this case is equivalent to all the cases between the principal axis and infinity because if you there is uh, what limited the case in when you took uh, con the concave mirror well, what happened was the object came in between the rays and the object obstructed the rays there is no obstruction in this case all the obstructing things that the rays are diverging so nothing is really getting obstructed and if we you know if i drop quickly uh, another case so this is very rough okay somewhere like this somewhere over there and if i quickly draw the miss diagram ray diagram so it will go somewhere something like this through the focus and retrace its path something like this will happen and again get the same case now again what are the properties of this image so is it real or is it virtual the rays aren't meeting the rays are diverging they appear to come from one point so the image is virtual what is the orientation of this image in other words is the image erect or is it inverted clearly is it it is erect so it is an 
select image okay how do the sizes relate so is it getting smaller or is it getting bigger when it's getting smaller so we call that a diminished image so it's diminished in nature right and uh, where is it located well if you notice the, the mid image may or may not be located at a very special point like the pole the focus the mirror okay so it generally li lies on the between somewhere between focus and the pole between focus because the in, if it comes from infinity then it forms at focus and if it comes somewhere near it is formed closer to the pole between focus and the pole in general you can say that it's behind the mirror behind the mirror. that's the most important product that it forms behind the mirror so in this video we saw that how will an object form its image when we place a convex mirror in front of it now how do these relate mathematically in other words if i give you a mirror with some radius of curvature or the focal length you can easily calculate either of both if and i and i place image at some distance away okay where will uh, its image form or if its image is forming where is the where is the object now in the next video you will see how do these terms like the image distance the distance distance of the image from the pole the object distance distance of the object from the pole and the focal length relate with each other so i hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching